What's going on everybody? Almost Counts Collectibles here and in today's video we're going to be doing a continuation of our previous video which was a review discussion of the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger action figures. Now in the previous video we covered the other five rangers. We covered yellow, blue, red, pink, and black and in today's video we're doing a separate video for the Green Ranger himself. And as you can see right here in front of me I have my original action figure from when I was a child of Tommy the Green Ranger and then behind me I have another sealed Green Ranger in the package to the right and another one to the left. Now the one to the right is actually signed by Jason David Frank himself and as you will all know he is the actor that played the original Green Ranger in the series. Now we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to set my figure aside and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So we'll take a look at the packaging of the original Ranger that is not signed. Now as you can see the packaging on these figures was pretty much exactly the same with the exception of the picture of course. His tattoo that he came with is of the Dragon Zord and we have the figure itself. Now of course he came with accessories just like the other Rangers. He comes with his golden dragon shield. He comes with his dragon dagger slash flute and he comes with a blaster. Now Tommy did not have a blaster in the series, but it's better to get additional accessories than no accessories at all. You can still use the holster to store his dragon dagger slash flute just like in the show that is where he stored it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Now the back is exactly the same as the other rangers. At the top you have a picture of the combined power blaster, you have a picture of all the rangers, and you have a picture of the space aliens. So nothing's changed there. So there is a mint in package original Tommy the Green Ranger. Now we'll take a quick look at my autographed one. I actually picked this up on eBay. It is signed right here in the front by Jason David Frank and then at the bottom he wrote Tommy which is the character that he played and on the back Inside of this Zolo World protective case, I have stored a couple of items. The individual I bought it from, because I asked for uh, if he could provide any proof that he actually had this signed by Jason David Frank. Um, it would not have been a deal breaker if not, but I said it'd be all the more better if I had a little bit of documentation to back it up. And right here, he included a picture of him dressed in his cosplay meeting Jason David Frank. So he had some photos to prove that he was actually there and he did meet him. And then he actually created a certificate of authentication for me. So right here you can see certificate of authenticity. And it was signed. It says what the item was. It says um, where he was when he got it signed. And all that good stuff. So he did include documentation for me. There are also additional photos and uh, an additional letter that he wrote inside of this larger packaging behind the certificate for further documentation. So over there is my signed Tommy the Green Ranger original action figure. Alright, so we've taken a look at them. Let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. Alright, so as you can see, I have the figure with all of the accessories. And I even have the tattoo that it came with. And we're going to get started with the tattoo. I want to say something real quick about this. So, I don't know if it was just me, but as a kid, I always wondered why they included a tattoo and a chest emblem of Titanus instead of the Dragon Zord. Because to me as a child, I thought for sure that this was a depiction of Titanus and not the Dragon Zord. It wasn't until I got a little bit older and realized that in a depiction of an actual living creature, this actually does depict, um, you know, it's a very good resembl resemblance to the Dragon Zord. But I thought that uh, if you were going to draw a same illustration of Titanus, that it would look very close to this. <laughs> so I don't know if it was just me, but for the longest time, I was confused as to why that they put Titanus as Tommy's, uh, you know, Dino Zord instead of the Dragon Zord. But... It does depict the Dragon Zord. That was just me not really understanding. All right, so let's talk about the figure. So right here we have the action figure. 
Uh, looks great, just like all of the other Power Ranger action figures. I think they did a great job. Of course, the actual Dragon Dagger slash Flute is not uh, properly colored, but that's okay. And he comes with a blaster, which he didn't have, but that is also okay. Because if you do not have Tommy's Dragon Dagger in his hand, you could always store it over here inside of his holster. Now I'm going to turn this around so it fits a little better. I can't remember how I used to store this in there. But I did used to put it down in here. I think it was probably more along the lines of that so you can still freely move his arm. Now, does that look good? Well, not really. But you're still storing his dragon dagger inside of his holster. So, you know, it is what it is. Now the figure itself, just like the other figurines, have held up very well. The joints are still very stiff. All the leg movement and everything. And I just popped off the dragon shield and we'll get to that in a second. Everything still works great. The only issue I ever had with this action figure is the fact that the dragon shield does not set securely on the figure. It falls off very easily. And I've had a couple of figures, um, so I know that this is pretty common and it does it on a lot of them. But I just never understood why they couldn't have come up with something a little bit better. Now, when Tommy is in his out-of-action form with his helmet off, it is kind of hard to secure the dragon shield onto him because of his hair. Now, I'm going to show you right here. The molding of his hair sticks out a lot farther than the mold of the helmet. So it's very hard to get this dragon shield to set around it securely because of the cutout of the dragon shield doesn't want to go around his hair very well. Now it is possible if you simply just press on it a little bit you can get the dragon shield to stay on there. I mean fairly good but you can't really play with it in this form because it will fall off. So we're going to take that off and we're going to go ahead and auto morph him into action. So there's the sculpting. I thought for what it is it was a pretty good sculpting all of them for their uh, what they actually looked like. So we're going to go ahead and morph him back into action. As you can see, the back of the helmet, it's a lot skinnier back here. So all that hair is not in the way. So it's really only in this form can you securely, and I say that very loosely, um, pun intended, <laughs> securely fit this to the figure itself. So now we have it back on. It's a little more secure, but if you still bump it or hit it with your finger, it's going to fall off. It doesn't set very securely just enough for it to stay for display purposes but if you play with it once again it is going to fall off so there is tommy in his action figure one of the best figures that they released i mean everybody loved the green power ranger and after he debuted on the show um, Jason, da Jason David Frank pretty much uh, took over as the main guy on the show. Um, everybody really liked him as an actor. Everybody liked him as a Power Ranger. Um, Austin St. John, in my opinion, is still the one of the best Power Rangers ever. And the original Red Ranger, it's hard to uh, it's hard to beat that. I mean, yeah, the Green Ranger was powerful and all, but let's not forget that it was Jason, the Red Ranger, that defeated Tommy and turned him back good. So in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Um, the Red Ranger prevailed. Now, yeah, Tommy was under a spell, and after that, uh, he was pretty much the best one. But <laughs> let's not forget who beat who. As you can see here in the background, I have one of my illustrations that I purchased uh, from an artist on eBay. And that is the Green Power Ranger, Tommy. Now, if you're wanting to put a collection together, like the one that I have, because let's not forget, that's also what this channel is about, growing your collection. Now over here I have the original five Power Rangers that we previously reviewed. And then I have the Green Ranger. So if you wanted to put this collection together, what is it going to cost you? Now by today's standards and the standards that I paid and how I acquired these figures um, when I actually got them, which I completed this sealed collection probably uh, five to six years ago now. Um, you're going to pay, at least this is my assessment of a fair price. 
you're going to pay approximately anywhere with shipping included 15 to 25 dollars per action figure now each one of these action figures is not that incredibly difficult to obtain because the first season of power rangers in america they produced a ton of these toys so there are still a lot of them still mint in package today because of the sheer number that were produced when this show came out. So you can still pick these up. I'm sure if you jumped on eBay today, you could probably find every single one of these action figures in the packaging. Um, some people may be asking a little bit more for the figure than you probably should pay, uh, depending on how many are on eBay or wherever you choose to acquire these figures from. But I picked all of my figures up for anywhere from 10 to $20 a piece. Now, the autographed Green Ranger that I purchased over here, I paid, with shipping, about $70 for that. But all of the other ones, you should be able to find high-end $25, low-end anywhere from $10 to $15. And you should be able to find them fairly easily to put this collection together. Now, I highly suggest, and I'll do a separate video on these, any carded action figures that you buy uh, that you want to keep in pristine condition... Um, because you're partially buying it for an investment and not just for a collection, I would highly suggest placing them in some kind of protective case. For example, I use Zolo World protective cases. And for the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures, they only have one case that will fit these figures. And that is the large case that you see behind me here. It's got a very deep bubble. They are $5, at least the last time I purchased from Zolo World, $5.75 a piece. I'll do a separate video to review these and show you exactly where you can get them and exactly what model number this is. But those are going to be the only cases that actually fit these figures. All right, everybody, that's pretty much going to wrap up my video for today with our discussion review of the original Power Rangers. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, original Green Ranger and what were your issues with the toy if you did have it and do you agree with my assessment uh, of the figure? And did you ever assume that the picture depicted in the tattoo and on the Green Ranger's chest were a picture of Titanus and not of the Dragon Zord? Because, uh, I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy to assume that that looks like Titanus, in my opinion. But anyway, um, stay tuned for more reviews. We are going to be doing some additional Mighty Morphin Power Ranger stuff. Next up, we're going to review the villains. So we're going to look at all the bad guys that were released. I have all of them. We're going to check them out. I have about 75% of them unopened, and I have all of them original in the packaging in mint condition. So for the most part, we're going to check out each one and what's, uh, you know, what its functions were. So stay tuned for that video. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, signing off with the original Green Ranger. We will see you next video.